Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Vilpi and today I have the speed test and benchmark and performance comparison between the OnePlus Nord CE which comes with 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and the Snapdragon 750G with my right hand side the OnePlus Nord, the original OnePlus Nord from last year. This is coming with the Snapdragon 765 and it comes with same 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. I thought these are very similar devices and it would be good to see how these two will compare with each other. So I will first do the benchmark test and then I will do some tests for app that we are using daily there is no app running in the background and both of these devices are connected to the same network so the benchmark was started a little bit faster on the North CE and I will fast forward this part but in general I could say both performed very similar in terms of speed and finishing the benchmark but at some point the original North was a bit faster but the end result even though the original Nord finished faster was better. The higher score on the Nord CE was around 385,000 and on the original Nord as you can see we get only 380. So even though the original Nord finished the test faster but the OnePlus Nord CE had a better performance overall in almost all the aspects except maybe in the GPU department. In the GPU department OnePlus Nord the original one has 100,002 while the new OnePlus Nord CE has 95,000. The overall thing is that I think the performance wise at least it's not less than the original Nord so it's good that we can see in all the departments uh, the new Nord CE does quite good job. Now what we do next we try to open some applications and see how these two perform against each other in terms of open applications. So I will first start with the download speed test. Let's go and check that out and see what the download speed is and also how fast they will be open. So the app was significantly faster on the OnePlus Nord CE in terms of opening. Now let's go and do the download speed test. I should say that I think the original Nord has a better uh, modem. The download speed was quite higher on the original Nord with something around 481 for the download speed and around 107 for the upload. And we can see on the Nord CE the download speed was significantly lower. So we end up with somewhere around 300 for the download speed and the upload speed was a bit higher actually like 50% something higher than the original Nord. If you have any information about what's happening here please share that in the comments with me. Now we go and try to open Twitter. I would say it was a bit faster on the original Nord. We go for YouTube. Again, it was a bit faster on the original Nord. YouTube Music. Yeah, as you can see, it was just slightly faster on the original Nord. Now we go and try to open Telegram. Let's see. I would say very similar, maybe a bit faster on the Nord CE. For Netflix, slightly faster on the Nord CE. Now let's try Google Chrome. It was slightly faster on the Nord CE. We open a web page and as you can see the web page was also loaded faster on the Nord CE. Let's open AliExpress again. So it's it's leading the comparison I would say at this point the Nord CE seems to be the faster phone here. But as you can see in this case uh, Amazon was open faster on the original Nord. Nord VPN 
a bit similar like that so it was faster on the original Nord Instagram Instagram was also faster so it's not definitely a winner uh, Nord CE but they seem to be performing quite similar in in at least opening the application sometimes the OnePlus Nord was uh, winning and sometimes the new CE but in this case the Nord CE opened and loaded the game faster now we try and open Subway Surfer and as you can see it seems the Nord CE is winning and is faster in loading the game compared to the original Nord let's go and open a bit more heavier game like PUBG Mobile and yeah significantly faster on the Nord CE in the initial start and for the finish again it's loaded faster on the Nord CE we try Temper Run and it's clear that the Nord CE is performing better in the game so there isn't a case that Nord CE is behind so it's a better performer in, in loading the games. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the RAM management and I will fast forward this part but you can also watch it yourself and slow it down. What I can tell is that overall the OnePlus Nord CE has all the apps running in the background but the OnePlus Nord, the original one, is still suffering from the issue that I have had with some of the OnePlus phones from 2020 I would say mainly that they had some issues with the RAM management and it seems the Nord CE has not that problem and it managed to keep the app in the background it was the same case with the OnePlus 9 Pro which I did the test so it seems there was an issue but now it has been fixed so the problem is not for all the apps mainly the games are most of the times running in the background but some applications are not running and you have to relaunch them so this was uh, my speed test and benchmark comparison if I want to get my overall impression from these two phones I think the OnePlus Nord CE definitely was a winner especially in terms of performance on the CPU side most of the cases for example for games was the definite winner but OnePlus Nord the original Nord from last year is also quite good and I don't think you go wrong with any of these two phones in this mid-range category but I personally prefer the original Nord because I feel it has a better build quality and more premium feeling to it and you can probably find it with the same price around 350 euros compared to the North Sea. So that would be my to go phone in these two phones. But uh, I would like to know what do you think? Which one do you prefer to go? So let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and until the next one.